All right, so we're going to start this interview off like this, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what inspired you to start training. My name is Jerron Brooks, and I'm born and raised in Bellamy, Texas. Started a program called Drive to Succeed. And basically how I started actually going into training was a funny story. I started playing semi-pro right after high school, and... I had a little chip on my shoulder because I actually found out I was faster than I was. So I went through that whole league going straight off speed. And I was, it was working. I was actually leading the interceptions until we played a team in Wichita Falls. They had a good running back. Long story short, we went heads up. I went down. He kept going. And it was kind of one of those moments where, you know, life hits you. Like, you know, you're not just about to go off talent and speed. Like, you're going to have to work. Cause this boy's been working, so I got every. I used to have an excuse, you know, man. I, I would go to work at 4:30 p.m., get up at 2:30 a.m. It, it was no more excuses after that. After work, hitting the gym, I wouldn't make it home till 4 a.m. every night. And at first, it started out motivation was I'm never gonna get ran over again. But then it started getting to the point to where I was doing things I wasn't able to do before. I was moving. I felt uh, amazing, and it just made me want to keep pushing my limbs over and over again to the point to where. I went to work one day and a guy that worked with me came up and was like, man, I'm trying to get in shape like you. And I'm I, I'm not that, I don't brag. So I'm like, nah, I'm not that big. He's like, man, you didn't got big. Man, can you train me? So I, I took that, I took it on and we started working out together. And I started training him and I see him struggling, wanting to give up and me pushing him and letting him know like I went through the same thing. And he already knows how small I used to be. And just being there to actually see somebody grow just hyped me up to the point to where I want to help everybody be successful and that's pretty much how I got to this point to where I'm at now. So now that we got an understanding of how you got started in the training game, with so many other camps out there, give me a reason that I should pick yours. Well, I don't I don't bash or talk down on any trainer, any camp. Shout out to everybody that's doing their thing. Everybody, you know, they need them. They need work, they need to provide for their families, but just to be honest, I feel like you'll find the best prices and fair prices around with me. Just for the simple fact, I understand that I love doing this and I'm gonna have to take a pay cut, I'm gonna have to take a sacrifice to do what I love doing for a lifetime. So that's what I'm doing right now. So not only that, the vibe you'll get, the energy you get around my camp, you can ask people in my camp right now, it's amazing. I'm I don't I don't talk down on you, but I'm also not gonna baby you like. I want you to have fun, but at the same time, you're going to work. Like, that's bottom line. Like, if you got four more reps and you feel like you can't do it, I'm going to be right there. If I got to get down there and do it with you, we're going to do it together because we all going to grow and we all going to eat. That's just bottom line. At the end of the day, I want you to be smiling. I want you to be laughing, but you're going to feel that pain. Like, I've learned. Like, I laugh at pain now, no matter how bad it is, leg day, arm day. You're going to learn to laugh at pain with me. And at the same time, you're going to realize week by week, like, man, I remember it used to hurt doing 10, I'm doing 20, I'm doing 30, and just, you get that smile on your face knowing like, man, I'm getting better, I can't believe this camp is actually working for me. So it's just a lot you can get for me, you just gotta check it out. Man, it sounds like you got it all figured out, but, you know, as with any other business, there comes a time where things don't always go the way you envision them. So, worst case scenario, if that occurred, what steps would you take and why? Just, uh, I guess I just got to go off of, you know, I got to go back a little bit. When I work out, I listen, I don't listen to music. I listen to a lot of motivational speakers. You know, the top two people is C.T. Fletcher and E.T. And if they ain't ever taught me anything, it's that, you know, you got to fail. Bottom line, like, that's how you learn lessons. You know, people like to say, oh, uh, he broke my heart, but that was a life lesson. But they don't put that towards a a lot of things they just put that to a relationship. You can't be you can't be afraid to fail. Like that's how you learn. So if I fail here, I look at the pieces where I failed, where I messed up, where I, I didn't actually, you know, t reach people like I should have reached people and I just move forward. And if that means I have to relocate, I mean that is what it is. I'm not gonna let a city, I'm not gonna let people pretty much tell me that this ain't gonna work. You need to go get a nine to five. Like this is my dream, this is my goal. And no matter what, I'm going to keep pushing this until it happens. So what would be your message to people having a tough time finding the balance between working out 
in the everyday struggles of life. I mean, you make it what you make it. <laughs> I mean, it's 24 hours in a day. Nine out of 10, you have one job, whether it's an eight hour job, a nine, 10, 11, 12, 14 hour job, you still got time. I'm pretty sure you, you found time to where you can text a female, text a male, you found time to post on Facebook, you found time to go out get drinks, go get high, whatever your thing is, you found time for it. And if you really talking about taking it serious to get in shape, you really want something, it's bottom line, you're gonna do it. You know, if you really want those shoes, you already know you're not gonna be driving to Dallas back and forth. You're gonna save that money up so you can afford them shoes. So there's really no excuse in life. It's really not. Like people try to blame other people, people try to put their situations on other people. At the end of the day, it's you. So if you want to have a good job at the same time you want to be in shape, it's not that hard. You know, if your time don't match with my camp, I have people on the side that has private that has private lessons. You know, they want me to train them privately because they get off at certain times. It's not that hard to ask for my number, ask for me on Facebook and be like set up a time. So all I can tell you is just work for it. That's all I gotta say. So at the end of the day, just know I'm right here for you. I will be your drive and I'm here to motivate everybody to be successful.